These socks won't stay up. But, hey YouTube, so I'm back with another video. So you guys, I'm gonna do a hair tutorial today. And as you guys can see, I have the long red hair, like Jessica Rabbit. And today, it's just gonna be a wash day because you, last night I went to the club for Halloween and I got too lit, way too lit. And it was also Bunny Kwan's birthday, so mommy got lit tea. And um, yeah, I sweated out my hair. So I'm gonna like try to do a Jessica Rabbit look. And we're just gonna wash it and try to curl it. I'm not good with barrel curls, but this is just a, an attempt and we're just gonna see. So let's get to it. So these are all the products you're gonna need. And you're gonna need a like hot comb or hot brush. I got a hot brush. A leave-in conditioner, um, some heat protectant. This is Garnier Fruit Teeth. A, a barrel curler, a blow drying brush, a conditioner to co-wash the hair. This is a color protecting by Whole Blends, a comb, a wide tooth comb, a blow dryer, and yeah. So first, before we wash our hair, we're gonna take down like anything you got going on. Like I got these little two pigtails I've had in for like two weeks, and I'm just gonna take those down to my best ability. And now we're gonna give the hair a good brush. So give it like a good brush. So after that, um, I just washed my hair and yeah. Like look at that curl pattern, like it's so cute. Hold on, let me get my towel on. Like, it's so cute and like wavy. But anyway, now we're gonna like blow dry it. <laughs> Wait, let me just zoom into that. So we're gonna put um, just the some leave-in conditioner. Not too much, cause we don't wanna weigh it down. You know, we want it to be sleek and lightweight. And then we're gonna add our heat protectant. Since this hair is so long, it's actually 34 inches, we're gonna add quite a bit. And then now we're just gonna take our blow dry brush and our blow dryer and get to blow drying. I really hate blow drying but this is like so important so this is like one side done as you can see it's very lightweight and airy and like really sleek already with no tangles and this is just like showing blow dry and wet and just take your time you know it's really good to get a blow dry brush I actually just bought this as you can see I don't really know what I'm doing but like it really did help to have it because it's so silky already that I didn't even straighten it because if you dro blow dry it better it actually gets really silkier when you straighten it which makes a lot of sense and that's really dumb that I'm saying that but anyway <laughs> yeah so 
So now section off your hair because we are going to straighten it. Woo! So let me go plug in this flat iron. And yeah. And pretty much you should do the chase method. So take your brush or comb or whatever and just like do the chase method where you put the brush like in front of the flat iron and you go down. Well, I'm not even really doing it here. But anyway, I have it on 450 degrees. This is like some, I think it's a kiss flat iron. I'm not even sure. But I'm just, you know, sectioning my hair with the hair clip and just straightening it. I'm just gonna go over it a few times and like, cause I'm straightening it from wet or from blow dried. So it's gonna be way, like it's gonna take, a, it took me like 30 minutes to do just to make sure I had to go over it like a few times, but yeah. So yeah, that's the finished product of that. This is the finished product of the straightening and it's really, really silky. I added some more Garnier Fruit Tea, so that should be added like periodically throughout the styling to really get that sleekness. It's so sleek. Look at that. Wow. Look at the body on that. Look how sleek that is. Yeah, because I'm very OCD about like how silky I like my hair to be. Like, ugh, I, do, I cannot do any type of tangles, any type of snags. I cannot. And I like it to smell good. So now you're going to take your hot comb or hot brush. All I got is a hot brush right now because my hot comb was cheap. And it only, it just doesn't even get hot. So I just use this hot brush. And it's turned on to 230 degrees Celsius, which is the hottest uh, degree it can go to. So, yeah, we're just gonna, you know, wait for that to turn on, you know, drink your drink, do your little dancey dance, because this hot brush is pretty ghetto, I got it for the low, and it takes kind of a while to get hot, but it gets hot, it gets hot, it gets hot, and then we're just gonna, like, brush it, just, just to really sleek it up, like, just to really make sure it's flat and laid. Because remember, I had those pigtails in, and like the hair isn't really like trained right. So we're just gonna like, you know, just straighten it. Make sure we get like that frontal area because we want that to be as flat as possible. Remember, I had those pigtails in, so yeah. And this is just overall gonna just like really just finish up the straightening and just completes it. You know, I like to get the the hairline too and kind of like comb that back and up with the hot comb to give it some volume, you know? So it's not too flat, but you see how it gives it like more volume? Like, yeah. So yeah, that's the finished product of the straightening. Yes. Yes, Mio. See, that is so cute. And now we're gonna get your barrel curler and it's set to 400 degrees. Like you guys can't really see it, but set to 400 and actually I just bought this too along with that blow dry brush oh yeah and why that's a heating up I'm doing a dance eh. so I don't know what I'm doing at all with this so I'm just gonna try to curl it. This is so when it comes style. to the barrel I curls, I literally don't know what I'm doing. I've never been good at this, um, but I'm just gonna try. And as you can see, it's not looking right. But I just wanted to practice because I have a music video coming up actually later this week. And I'm gonna be styling my hair, like curling it myself. So I just wanted to practice a couple <laughs> days beforehand to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Anyway, so I'm just gonna let that like sit on there for a little bit and like try to like unravel it a little bit, I guess. And yeah, it's kinda stuck. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not good either. Maybe it's just not hot enough. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna actually try to like properly section it and like actually try it again and see what happens. 
like I tried to watch YouTube videos just wasn't working but I did manage to get this one off screen because I was gonna be fumbling on screen forever with that and run out my camera's battery and space so I just was like let me do it off camera let me see if I can do it again on camera Uh, I don't know. We're going to let it sit for a little bit. I probably just didn't let it sit that long now that I'm watching this. I probably should have let it sit longer, but nah. I'm just going to do it with a flat iron because this is what I'm used to. I, I know how to do this. I know how to do this one. This is easier for me. Don't even ask me. Like I can't even explain it to you. When I was figuring it out, I just, it just happened. Like you just learn how to do it. I, I, I watched the videos with the how to curl with the flat iron. And it's impossible to watch. You just, it's just something like motor skills. See, look at how cuter that is. And then just hold that curl and see, look at how cute that was. It, it has a little bit of bends in it. I'm zooming into the bends, but you can't really see. I mean, it has way more body than that. Than the barrel curl. The barrel curl is so limp. <laughs> Give it very much limp biscuit. Whatever that means. Then we're just gonna curl it. Curl, curl, curl. And make sure you hold the curl for like a couple seconds. I'm not using any hairspray because I just feel like hairspray makes your hair crunchy. And I don't wanna like build up my hair with product after pretty much not having product, just washing it. Like I'm gonna go A a product after I don't wash it because Yes, it lasts longer, but I don't really care. I'll just recurl it since I know how to do it. Ooh. I'll just recurl it and touch it up periodically. But yeah, the curls are a little bent, but they're cute. I think they're giving. I think they're cute. And then we're gonna have to do the iconic Jessica Rabbit bang, at least to my best ability. And I didn't want to add any hairspray, so yeah. They say it's better to do curls and stuff on like kind of old hair like two day old hair so it holds better but yeah this is essentially the finished product I'm just gonna brush out the top a little bit because of the hair clip it kind of like left it a little like frizzy and then I'm just gonna add the finish final touches and mess with it So we're just gonna take our makeup box. This is my like three tier makeup huge box because I be having so much makeup, even though I don't wear it. But anyway, um, we're just gonna open up this makeup box. It's kind of hard, my nails. <laughs> but we're just gonna, you know, get some concealer to try to blend this lace because this lace is is lacing. It's getting very much screen door right now. Uh, this is like a two week. It's like a three week install. Dang. No, it's like been. Yeah, see, it's going through a week a lot of time. Time is flying. So we're just gonna take our makeup brush and we're just gonna use this powder concealer. And we're just gonna like put it on the part and we're gonna try to put it on that lace. I don't know. I don't know if there's really much I can do. Cause it's still screaming. That lace is still screaming. Oh yeah, you guys, and I don't know if you guys have noticed yet. But I have a little bit of a cold. I think I got way too much. I don't know what's going on. So that powder uh, concealer didn't do anything for me. So I'm going to take this liquid concealer. And we're just going to get a little bit on the brush. And we're going to try our best. That's all we can do. It's, it's lace, you guys. It's fabric. It's never going to... It's never, it's never going to blend like that. And also, it's like three weeks old. So 
you know, it's never going to land like that. This is no filter, very HD camera, so you know that lace going to be screaming. But whatever. I try to wear my lace band at night, but it doesn't really, I don't know. It just it's makes my head screaming. hurt. I don't know if anybody else got those problems, but it makes my ears hurt. But yeah, this is the finished product, so that's the best I can do. You know? it's, it's giving very much, you know, colonial wig. And I'm just going to set that with some powder. I don't, just because I use that liquid stuff, I don't know. I feel like I should probably just set it. Hey YouTube, so I'm back. Ugh, I look crazy. And what do y'all think? Woo! Oops. <laughs> This is the finished product. So, is it giving Jessica Rabbit? Maybe I need to add my bunny ears. <laughs> I don't know, what do y'all think? All right, so let me know how I did. This is like, let's get close into it. Thanks for watching. Bye.